Nights at In Vino. Wasn't that a great film? It was, yeah, no, that was <laughs> such a fun interview because we were talking about To Kill a Mockingbird and Atticus Finch, oh my and it was one of my favorite interviews that you I've done. You asked me what is my favorite film or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and what? you said To Kill a Mockingbird. It was the first thing that came to my mind. I've got a lot of favorite films, believe yeah. me. Uh, people asked me, and I listed my top ten, and then there was like Harold and Maud, and I mean... A lot of them, you know. I mean, it's so hard to narrow down to how just do you, one. How yes. do you pick, you know? But but the first one that popped in my head was... To Kill a Mockingbird, <laughs> my favorite as well. My favorite book, actually. Uh, such a great such great morality in that book, too. Yeah. And who doesn't want him for a dad, huh? Atticus a Finch is the absolute best. Absolute character. Yeah. And, oh, just Absolute perfect. best. So since then, now we've kind of transitioned to the romance realm. Yes. What's it like working on a film like this? It's a little different from what you've done in the past, right? Yes, it is. But... But I did, uh, I, I did Tosca's uh, film a few years ago. Mm -hmm. It was called uh, uh, You Cast a Spell on Me. They changed the title a bunch of times, and I can't remember. But it's called You Cast a Spell on Me. And that was a romance of mm -hmm. sort, but it was with magic involved. So Ooh. this one is uh, just more like straight romance. And it's hot and heavy, too, I'm telling you. I mean, she keeps saying, I'm not that kind of girl. And then they end up, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, what the heck? But that's that's what people want, you know. <laughs> and, and I'm glad I can watch it. How do you prevent a relationship? <laughs> Did I say that? Uh, how do you prevent a relationship from going stale? Because this is obviously something with so much passion, yeah. and it's like very captivating. But what do you do when you get older and you're with the same person for life, right? Or uh, so you hope. My wife is in there. So you hope. Uh, how do you stay in love once you've fallen in love? How do you just keep that momentum going forever and ever? It's an everyday effort. I mean, not like, oh, what an effort. It's not that, but it's an everyday conscious awareness to stay in touch, to keep communicating, um, and break through. Even when we have like a falling out, we just got to get to the bottom of it. And we're both, I'll tell you the real secret, you want to know the real secret? Sometimes I get a little deep. But <laughs> the real secret is when, when we get um, out of touch with each other and have a little thing, I choose, we've made this pact with each other, mm -hmm. to choose to see the spirit within, okay? So we see the person who we know that person is instead of the way they're behaving. Mm -hmm. So we relate to that part. So do you, do you follow me? Like yeah, I relate so to the, the, the perfection within and I'm talking to that being and then she hears me talking that way and she goes, oh, that's who I really am, so I will relate. So I will admit when I did wrong, she'll admit when she did wrong, and we're, we're talking from a more real place instead of defensive ego, you know? Mm -hmm. So that helps us a lot. you got to put the pride aside when you're in a relationship together. Oh, yeah. Always. Yeah, always. Yeah. yeah. you got to be the bigger person and apologize. <laughs> or just as big. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm bigger, but she's, yeah. she's bigger. No, definitely. Emotionally or whatever, she's bigger than us. We're both the same. That's a good thing to be bigger emotionally, though, to have yeah. that much of a heart and capacity to love. Exactly, me. <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you. They yeah. keep saying thank you. They keep saying it's all me, you know. Oh, it's Olivia. Oh my God, it's Olivia. Yeah, so you'll I'm talk so to excited. her. So anyway, so uh, uh, so yes, be 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 calm. Come down to the level of reality. Don't stand on your issues don't stand on your rightness because we have a saying would you rather be right or would you rather be happy and so once we decide that it's i'd rather be happy then everything falls into place i'm happy because i'm right no <laughs> oh my god you've blown the whole philosophy <laughs> no i love it i love it i'll never twist those words ever again <laughs> you're gonna remember this in i'm too. gonna remember this i'm just gonna see you every six months <laughs> that's how it's gonna work thank you jeff I love it. thank you honey. have a good one bye-bye